Hey guys, it's Ivana and welcome to Intellecta. In today's video, we are continuing with the Lambda W function. Um, in my previous video, I explained what the Lambda W function actually is and how to graph it. So feel free to watch that video if you want to better understand this one. Now, let's get started. So let me show you the most important tool of the Lambda W function we are gonna work with. So in my previous video, I've said the Lambda W function is nothing else than inverse of the function x e to the x for x is greater than or equal to minus one. And this function y is f of x equals y equals x e to the x. And we said the Lambda W function is an inverse of this function here. How can we find inverse of this function? So if you replace every x with a y and every y with an x, you will get an inverse function and you will have y e to the y. Okay, now we have the original function and the inverse function and we said this function here is the lambda w function of this function here. So the lambda w function is denoted as w of x is inverse, is the inverse function. Okay. And now we said lambda w function is nothing else than inverse of this function here. So it's denoted like this. And what do we have? We have w, what is our f of x? Our f of x is x e to the x. Okay. And now w of x e to the x is nothing else than x. So Inverse of this function here is this function here, y e to the y, and this is our x. So we got an inverse function of this function here is our x. So this is the most important thing when it comes to application of the lambda w function. This here allows us to solve many types of problems when you have uh, the variable both in the base and in the exponent. So please note you have this x here in the base and the same the x is also in the exponent and you have to have this uh, e in the base as well, of course. And so we have the same variable. It doesn't have to be just x. You, can, you could have, for example, 1 over x e to the 1 over x or ln of x e to the ln of x. Okay, so w of ln ln x e to the ln x is, we had x here, x e to the x, we got x, and if you have ln of x e to the ln of x, the result is just ln of x. So, so this here we are going to use a lot. And now let's, let's see what do we get if we replace our f and our w. If we have, for example, f of w of x, and what do you get? So you have now f of w of x. Our function f of x is x e to the x. And now we have to replace x by w of x. And you get w of x e to the w of x is what? Is our x as well. So these two functions are inverse function and that's why we get our x back. This here is also important, we are going to use this as well, not in today's examples, but I'm going to show you in my next video, I'm going to show you one example where you can use this. And you get now that e to the w of x is x over w of x. So I show you two important things when it comes to lambda w function which are mostly used in examples. So our first example is 6x equals e to the 2x and we want to solve this using the lambda w function. Every time when you want to solve, solve the equation like this or something like this and you want to use the lambda w function that means you want to get this form. 
you want to have x e to the x equals constant. So on the left hand side you want to have all variables x or whatever you have and on the right hand side you want to have some constant. And that's why our first step is going to be to divide both sides by e to the 2x. And now we have 6x over e to the 2x equals 1. Okay. And what could be our second step? So, let's bring this e to the 2x in the numerator. And what would we have? 6x times e to the minus 2x equals 1. And we want to bring all constants on the uh, right hand side and let's divide by 6. And we have x e to the minus 2x equals 1 over 6. And what do you have now? You have x in the base and you have minus 2x in the exponent. And we know we want to have form like this. We want to have x in the base and the same variable in the exponent. That means if we have minus 2x in the exponent, we want to have minus 2x here in front. And that's why, what can we do? We, that's why I'm going to multiply both sides by minus 2. And now you have minus 2x e to the minus 2x equals minus 2 over 6. 2 and 6 we can cancel and you have 1 and 3. And now you have minus 2x times e to the minus 2x. You have form like this, form like this. And this is the moment when we should apply the lambda w function. So we should apply this w on the both sides. And we have w of minus 2x e to the minus 2x is equal to w of minus 1 over 3. Okay. And you know, using this here, w of x e to the x, that if you have the same variables, then the result is just the variable, just this x. And our variable is minus 2x, and that's why our result is just minus 2x. So we will get just minus 2x from this. And here we have w of minus 1 over 3. We want to have just x on the left hand side, let's divide both sides by minus 2 and we have x is equal to minus 1 over 2 w of minus 1 over 3. And this is our x, this is our result. And of course you can find the value of it. The lambda w function is also known as the product log function, that's why if you want to find the value of it, you should use the Wolfram alpha and just type in product log of minus 1 over 3 and multiply by minus 1 over 2 and you will get that your x is approximately minus 0 0.309. So this is what we wanted. So from this equation 6x equals e to the 2x we got that our x is approximately approximately minus 0 0.309.